The idea, how we make art more better for everyone on the planet by the Dryer Fathers. A long, long time ago on planet Earth, shortly after people were cavemen, when tape players roamed the Earth and music was plagued by horrific pop stars like Madonna, if you were an author and you had an idea for a book, you only had one option for how to get it out to people. You had to go to a publisher. You'd be like, dude, I've got an idea for a book. You'd be like, cool, I have money, right? Um, and money in the 1980s is what you needed to make a book because you needed to have a factory of people to distribute the book. You had to put the book on the trucks. You had to put the book on the boats and planes. And the planes would fly to China. And finally, after all that work, the book would wind up in a bookstore in the hands of a bookseller who would sell the book to a customer who would have to pay as much as $20 for the book, which is, that's how you write 20 in the U.S. Um, uh, so the publisher would just get more and more money, and he actually wound up with the book, the rights to the book, and would pay the author a little bit of money per book. This system was called royalties, and the, uh, and the author could get showered with money from royalties, but the world would always pay way more money for the book than the author got. Fast forward to 1982. In 1982, aliens visit the planet Earth. The aliens are like, boy, I like Earthlings. And the other one says, oh, yes, their alien invasion movies are amazing. The idea that they could win is just ridiculous. And so they go up to a person and they say, hey, we don't like your businesses and governments, so we're going to give you this. Well, what's that, he says. It's the Internet. Well, what does it do, he asks. They say, invest in it. You'll see. And fly away. Fast forward to 2012. In 2012, we have the Internet iPads and iPods and all kinds of crazy ways to share information. We can give each other information for free. So if you're an author and you've got a book, you can give it to the whole planet. And the whole planet loves it because your book is so amazing. All you need to do is click upload and share and everybody gets it. So you've got lots and lots of love now, which is great, but you don't have a house and you don't have food and you don't have a car and you can't afford a wedding ring for some foolish woman who's going to marry you one day. So you go back to the publisher so that you can afford to live. That's a problem, because we could have it for free, but we don't, because creators want to make money, right? And creators, some creators, make a lot of money. Take uh, Mr. Cameron, for example. James Cameron uh, was a creator of digital media, not unlike a book, same, same philosophy, right? And he created Avatar, uh, and he was paid $350 million for Avatar. Avatar cost $500 million, making a grand total of $850 million cost to make Avatar. Now, we could have shared that, right, and, and distributed it for free, but instead, we paid 2.7 billion for it. Yes, billion. Because we as a planet are silly, it turns out. We're a little bit uh, challenged, and uh, so we like to pay these companies for the property rights to the stuff that they say they own. Now, in the future, it's not going to work that way because how can we let it work that way forever? It's just such a gigantic waste of money. In the future, if James Cameron wants to make Avatar 27, he's going to come to the world via a science fiction program and ask for $800 million. We'll give it to him and we'll save $2.7 billion, which we can spend on doctors, hover cars, holographic watches, and more art. More art means more competition and better art. It doesn't mean better just for more competition. When 20th Century Fox targets an audience, it targets the whole silly planet, which is unfortunate because the planet is silly. Um, in the future, when James Cameron targets an audience for a movie, he can target a specific audience who will love it more and share it more as a result of it being for them. Uh, that science fiction program is here, now. Now is the future, and it's called Kickstarter. Uh, Kickstarter allows us to publicly fund uh, creative projects and the logical next step is for those creative projects to give away their property rights back to the public who funded them for free, right? We get funded by the public, we give the public back money for, for sorry, back our copyright for free. Go to www.kickstarter.com and check it out. Let's get together and make this world a better place. Let's do away with intellectual property law. Let's free up the internet. Uh, let's make the world happy, the aliens happy, and us happy. That's it. The idea. No copyrights, no royalties, no piracy. Just quality education and entertainment for free for everyone. Thank you.